Is the honor of the Patros, get to you, get to you, Penev Matos, Amen. Please be seated. As a doctor might examine your heart and your body, so the Lord examines our soul, our being, that thing that defines us, that gives us life. Now our mind may be the center of the functioning of our organism, but it is the heart, the kardia, that is truly the center of our being. As the brain sends its signals, the heart, believe it or not, sends its own signals. Biologically speaking, our heart is a type of nerve center that acts on its own, that functions completely separate from this brain. We have two brains, one here and one here. And what is in the heart is what comes out. What is reflected inwardly is how we make our life outwardly on the outside. Now, every time you see Valentine's Day or you have something that someone writes, I love you, what do they put? A heart, right? Each of us at some point in our own lives has felt something here, right? You don't feel it so much here. You feel it here in the center of your being. Now today, I want to do a little experiment. I want you to close, softly close your eyes or look down. I want you to take your right hand. You can do this online too if you're watching on YouTube. Place your hand here. Close your eyes and bring your attention to the center of your chest, to your heart. Now, I want you to imagine what is inside. What is living in there? What is growing? What sensations? Is there space? Is there light? Is there hope and joy and peace? How many times did we say peace be with you. It is that peace that should be right here. Now you may also notice pain. You might feel broken. You might feel all of those memories, all of those things that we do in our life that leave those little wounds, those little scars. Now open your eyes. Each and every one of us has our own unique heart, our own sense of being and sense of self. And whatever we do in life leaves its mark right here. And so the gospel today is like a road map how to open your heart. How to have a heart that is ready to accept God. That is ready to fully grow whatever God is trying to plant in our hearts. And he says really simply, if your heart is like a walkway where people are just walking over it all the time, and there's no softness to it. 
and it's cluttered and it's busy and there's things and people and stuff and all everything else a matter of trampling on your heart. How can those seeds enter? Or if your heart has all of these stones and rocks and anger and resentment and bitterness and fear and trouble, where is the depth? Where can those roots grow if that heart is cluttered? Or maybe it does grow. But there are other things choking it out. Other stuff, other priorities, other cares, problems and worries that suffocate. And so finally he says, that good soil, that good heart, very simply, is the soil that allows the roots that allows the moisture to take hold and that has the space, the open space to allow those things which are necessary to grow. And so as each one of us takes stock of what is in here and what is in here, There are things we can do to change that soil. But we shouldn't be comparing each and every one of us. Because each of us is different. You shouldn't hold this thing and say, Ah, I'm not like that. What's wrong with me? No. You are you. And sometimes if there are rocks in that heart, we have to dig. We have to till. We have to allow the pain of life to remove those things that get in the way. And so, my brothers and sisters, let us, first of all, be in tune and in touch with what is in here. Because I promise you, there is more space in here than in all the cosmos in all the universe. And just as all life and light can live here, so too can murder and pain and sor sorrow and sadness. And so let us carefully examine and dig and let God's love and light and moisture Soften our hearts so that the true seed of his word may grow forever. Amen.